Hello world, um, I'm doing a review here of this TCL 24 inch LED HD TV, it's model number LE24FHDD20, has uh, apparently Intolalite light sensor technology, a dynamic backlight, 3 HDMI ports, a uh, component import, a PC input, so VGA, so it says it can be used as a computer monitor. Um, my mom bought this for my cousin who is going off to college, but we haven't given it to her yet, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity to open it up and try it out and uh, shoot a video of it. I'm doing the unboxing in here, and then I'm going to stop the video and set it up um, and run through the features with you. Um, let's start by uh, opening it up. And this is, it, it came in a bigger box from Amazon. It could have been uh, from, it could have shipped like this by itself. Maybe it could have been in the bigger box because it ordered a few other things. I'm not sure. But it came in pretty good shape. Very good shape, actually, uh, in two days with Amazon Prime. I believe at the time the TV sold for, this is in uh, July 2012. And this TV went for about 166 bucks, so not a bad, not a bad deal. Um, I have another one of these, a, a 40 inch upstairs, I'm 37. I'm not sure uh, a prior version, a 720p version. Um, so let's see. Box looks the same on the other side, up at the top. Instructions on how to open it and some customer service type stuff over here. I'm trying to keep this video still because I'm doing all this with one hand. This is a cell phone camera so I can't set it up on a tripod. But I don't want to mess the box up too bad because I still got to give it as a gift. But, you know, I had to find out if it works for science. all that. Got a bag in here. It's taped to the box. They won't notice. Alright, start with that. Push this back. Sorry for the shaky video. But again, I'm doing it all. I should film with my left hand and do this with my right hand because I'm right-handed. That'll make more sense. So, let's see. I'm going to try to open a bag with one hand use my mouth that'll help All right. here's what comes inside I'm not sure what this is I'm thinking it might have something to do with the TV stand which I hear is a pain to set up here is uh, the remote very simple looking remote the flash seems to be on on the camera. It's causing a lot of glare. But I can't turn it off halfway through, so... Really not much to see anyway. It's some really basic features on the remote. But that's okay for 166 bucks. Who could complain? Uh, power cord. Simple. Uh, it does come with a couple of AAA batteries for the remote. Uh, another piece, I'm not sure what that is. Probably some kind of cover for the back of the TV. A box of parts. Looks like I'm going to have to put this thing together. Maybe I'll just set it all up and leave it out of the box. Who knows? Maybe not. Uh, manual. Looks like Spanish. English. That's still Spanish, so Spanish and English, I think, is it for the manual. Probably some kind of quick start guide. Let's see. Yeah, quick start guide for setting up the television. And a few more. A few more screws. Okay. Let's set this off to the side and pull the TV out.
Okay. Alright, now this is going to be a trick to do with one hand. Alright, here is what I assume... Yeah, sounds like the base of the television. I'm trying to use with one hand and not break it. Ah, uh, the box is falling on me. Sorry, people, for the messed up video at the moment. Alright, there's the television. And down here... Is the power brick okay so this brick goes with this power cable and that's it for the box okay now nope. going to just slide this back This is really a surprise. This is a really nice looking television. I will see what kind of picture you get for 166 bucks here in a minute. But that is, I'm impressed. I like this clear bevel. Let's see if you can see it there. Yeah. It says there's an energy guide. It says it costs nine bucks a year to run, but I guess that's good. I don't know. Um, so, get this glare coming off the camera's light but you can see the writing down there a little bit maybe there's writing here input menu volume uh, channels power so there must be I don't know I have to find out when I have to find out when I'm testing it if this is uh, some sort of touch sensitive thing I don't, oh okay it's not <laughs> that would have been impressive there's buttons back under here and see if I can show you okay yeah those are buttons that control the things control your volume and channel and everything else now here's this clear stand I've seen pictures of the the thing for the stand now I'm going to flip this thing around show you the inputs okay this glare from the camera. Sorry about that. I'm going to try and shoot everything at an angle so that doesn't happen. But you see two HDMI ports on the back, uh, an audio in, that's like a headphone jack in, a VGA port, a coaxial cable port, for, uh, let's see, yeah, left and right audio out, an SPDIF out. I think that's the coaxial audio. I'm not sure. <sighs> Let's see. A component out and uh, a composite out and a component out. Composite's the yellow, white, and red component. Sorry, not out, in. Uh, that's a uh, green, blue, and red. That is component. Let's see. I'm guessing. Said it had three HDMI ports. I'm guessing there must be one on the side somewhere. It's not on the side. You told me you had three ports. Where are you? Maybe it's down below somewhere. I don't know. Hmm. What the? Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. On the side. There's your second. There, second of three HDMI ports. USB port, I'm guessing, probably to update the firmware. And a headphone jack, which is really nice for someone in college. If you want to watch TV and not bother your roommate, you can listen to it with headphones. So, that's the unboxing. Um, you know what? I'm going to upload this strictly as an unboxing and then make a second video reviewing the TV going through its features. So, thanks for watching this getting on the long side so I decided to split it into a second video I'll put a link in the comments and maybe one of those uh, annotations too all right thanks for watching